Good evening and a happy Sunday. I'm meteorologist Brooke Laser with your forecast first. A little bit of everything today. Some heavy downpours, also a good bit of sunshine. And we've got more rain in the forecast for many spots right now. Temperatures in the upper 70s as these light passing showers roll from the west to the east. We've got a few off of the coast, also a few on the north shore and throughout New Orleans proper. Hour by hour shows you tomorrow. We're dealing with more showers and temperatures in the 80s once again. Improvements by this week. We tell you when as WGNO News at 10 starts right now. Next on WGNO News, fans clawing their way back to the Superdome after a hurricane, pandemic, and a fire on the roof. But the Saints falling short. And Firestone paying millions of dollars for violating federal and state environmental laws. Their plan to make sure they don't break the law again. Plus, two Democrats holding out on the infrastructure package that the president says would benefit Louisiana. The latest on that deal in Washington. You're watching WGNO News Weekend Edition, New Orleans' very own. Well, good evening. I'm Jacob Bradford. Thanks for joining us. It was a heartbreaking loss for the Saints, who played their first home game with a dome packed in fans in nearly two years. But Houdat Nation was thrilled to be back, especially after going through so much over the last year and a half. WGNO's Anna McAllister has the story. A pandemic, a hurricane, and a fire. It's been a rough road for the Dome, and even harder for Saints fans who haven't been at a home game in months. But the Saints were showered with love at Sunday's home game against the Giants, and their fans were ecstatic to be back. Being back in the Superdome is unbelievable. The experience here has 